One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I got here for you today is a really nice 1973 Ford F100 4x4 Explorer package. It's a nice truck. It's got its bangs and bruises and dinks and dings and stuff. And I'll go around to show you real quick outside. Then I'm going to go around and show you any damages and stuff like that. We'll go for a test drive, look at the interior and all that. It's a great truck. I'm going to move it. Just a great looking truck. Nathan, 406-546-8748. I'm going to go up close, show you any damages and such. These little things on the front of this, they're in pretty good shape. There's a little crack there. Miscellaneous stuff. Um, the bumper's pretty straight. There is a kink in it here. It's straight. And miscellaneous dings and stuff. It's a ding there. Dent. That's a dent. Ding. Bam. Right there. Ding. Miscellaneous little dings here and there. And the paint, somebody tried to paint it. And this came off. I believe what's here is the original paint. And the grill, pretty straight. Somebody repaired this. So you could paint that, sand that down a bit, and get it going. They repaired it right here, too. A little crack right there. Oversprayed it a little bit, but oddly enough, it blows right off. Um, cracked lens, and this fender's had some repairs. Not very good ones. The wheels were painted, and they have dry rot. I'm not a big fan of these wheels. Excuse me, tires. The wheels are just regular old stock metal wheels. Cracking the windshield all the way across. Looks like somebody might have tried to repair it. Um, emblem's broken. Going down the side, there's dings. Dents everywhere. Not all, all lot, but miscellaneous dents and dings. Um, like that. And somebody, like I say, painted this thing. A little ding there, it seems like almost. Um, piece of trim's missing, and you can see right there. I think that's the original color, and they sprayed the sides. But they beat this out straight. Obviously, got messed up. There's a little filler on it right here. But they seem to have smacked it out and got it halfway straight. Um, that's the worst thing on the truck right there, is having to deal with that. Tailgate's been replaced. It's a little bent up along the edges here. Ding there. This lane is dents, dings, scratches, stuff like that. Rear bumper is there. It ain't all bent up or nothing. Uh, it's just an old bumper. A couple dents in here. One thing is, the truck is not rusty. The, um... All the metal's in great shape. I didn't know if I showed you from the back. I know I took pictures. Bed's all banged up a bit on the... I don't know. Whatever they're called. There's a little corrosion there. Where it got all the paint stripped off. And then... It's look good. Good color for it right there. Okay. Ding here, dent. This lane has dings and dents along the top here. Some on the edges. Truck's pretty straight on this side. It really is. I think that line is the original color. Rich was telling me that and I just didn't catch it. Dings here. A little paint missing. And that's pretty much that. Um, I'd paint the mirrors just to make them look better. Got the clearance lights. A couple dings on the top right there. It's a solid truck. I'm going to go ahead and um, shut it down for a minute. And then I'll get out here when the sun sets. And we'll get some other pictures of the interior. Go for a test drive. I'll show you the interior after we go for a test drive. It has a start button. Ignition's cheap enough. Um, when you shift it, it takes about that long for the tranny to engage. Now, we haven't tried to change the fluid or anything like that. 
shifts great, drives down the road good. Okay, somehow I messed up my recording, so we're gonna do this again. There's second. And that's drive. It's nicely geared, um, and honestly, the tranny seems to work really well. There just takes a little bit long to engage when you do it, when you try it, when you first put it in gear. There you go, that's what I'm trying to say. If you want a bit more, I'll come up with it. We're gonna do this again. Downshift, upshifts, she goes, and that's about 55, 60. I don't wanna go much faster because like I say, when we took the wheels off, well, I said it, but when we took the wheels off, my camera wasn't on. When we took the wheels off, we found out that the back, back brake pads are just really low, man. Really bad. Sitting around on Sunday morning, I realized I didn't say that we redid the back brakes. They're done, brand new brakes. Brakes are great. And as far as shifting, think shift's fine. Put your foot on halfway and go, it goes. Put your boots to the floor all the way, and it doesn't want to hit that last gear until you let off the gas just a little bit. And that's that. Let's go. Downshifts when you put back on it. So I mean, it is pretty tight. And pretty much the truck. I'm gonna go ahead and go down the side road here since we got the four by four. Well, I'll go down this in a Sob too. Okay, let's get back and almost got the sunset. We'll look at the interior. The other thing is when you put it in reverse, right now, just right now. And listen to this thing. I'm gonna leave my camera back here for a second. I think Vlad's gonna come help. What's up, buddy? Are you coming to help? Whoa, whoa, okay, let me put this over here. So it sounds really good, it's a nice truck. Um, it does have its obvious, it's a nice truck? Yeah. Yeah? Truck. Nice truck. car, truck, okay. Sunset's coming. Let me get the hood open. Take some interior pictures. I like it when it's a evening time to where this, you know, the light's even. The light. The light is, say, can you say the light is even? Yeah, even. Even, okay. No more doing that. No. Good job? Yeah. Okay. Stronger. Stronger? Whoa! Under the hood, real nice, presentable. It's a, um, you know what? I'm gonna have to ask Rich. It's a 360 or a 390 or a, I think it's a 360 if I'm not mistaken. Um, clean enough, it's just been used. It ain't been abused. Somebody just changed the oil. We didn't do it. So it's been being maintained, hopefully. Um, good truck, good truck. Underneath the hood. Some of this would flake off even. I think they painted this too. But that's the deal. That's the under the hood. And the hood latch opener thing is broken. So right now we're using vice grips on it. Okay, I'm going to show you this again. Just because I really would drive the truck around. I wouldn't try and drive this cross country or something. There you go. I don't know if that's three or four seconds. And I'll tell you what, you put the brake on and it goes it's not missing anything there however you put it in reverse right now man so that's just the current state of affairs and i just want to be a hundred percent honest and upfront with everything i'm telling you on this truck it's a nice truck good project something you could drive around while restoring it all right it's evening time the sun is setting Perfect time to show you the interior, done the test drive, give you a view in a different light to where you can see how it looks in the 
I don't know, you get different visions of a car depending on the lighting. <laughs> it's a good looking truck. Definitely something to tool around in and restore. I'm gonna kind of give you another once around here and then we'll go look inside and show you the inside before it gets too dark. It's like you only have just a little bit of time to make sure and try and get the interior on a night like this. But that's that, nice truck. Nathan, 406-546-8748. Door panels, they're in good shape. They're all cracked up or broken up, but there has been some screws put in to keep them together. Um, this piece of padding's not bad. There ain't no wear on that pedal. There ain't no wear on that pedal. There ain't no wear on that pedal. I don't think anybody replaced them. 96,000. I kind of honestly, I don't think this truck has turned 200, I mean 100. Um, this seat was tore here, but it's actually in really good shape besides the centerpiece. This seat underneath could be saved. We put this saddle blanket cover on it. It's in good shape. Well, it's brand new. Headliner's sagging a little bit. But I didn't want to get rid of it to where you have the sizes for the cardboard piece that goes on it. A couple cracks in the dash, like right there. Um, it's in good shape. Um, dash is nice. Got trailer brakes. It's got this, it's not black. I hope you can see in the video, it's got like a green fleck in it. Some kind of a green fleck all in it. Kind of a green and gray fleck almost. I think it's factory. Why well, I am. I undoubtedly think it's factory. But clean back there, clean everywhere. Um, the only corrosionary type stuff is little things starting like this. Nothing, it's just where paint has chipped off. Um, there was a little starting on one of the, right there. Just p surface patina. Same thing in here. Um, I showed you underneath it. Look on the other side real quick. It doesn't have two tanks in this here. Okay. This one is tight on here and has all the clips. Might be one missing, maybe. Was it tight? That's that man. That is the walk around of this nice little truck. A little bit of, and see this isn't really it's not cancered through it's not eaten up it just got chipped and got a little bit of corrosion on the top honestly some steel wool will take most of it off but there's a hole right there and a couple like that bottom of that door <laughs> like i say though this stuff is clean okay i'm gonna look underneath this door to make sure that there wasn't something you know what they aren't rust holes. They're drain holes. Wow. Okay. What's that? Patina around the drain hole. One of the neatest things about this truck is it's not rusty. It's super clean. I've shown you damage and stuff on it here during this video. There's a little... That's the most to say about there any corrosion. Is it just starting right there behind the... hope you can see that. Yeah. There you go, just a little teeny bit right there. Nothing on the front. Just throwing that water back into it, sitting up in there. This one is not, nope, it's not all rusty like that. It might all rusty just a little bit. There is some corrosion in there. Well, that is pretty much what I wanted to show you because this side is not like that. So a little repair needed there. If you're restoring it. Nathan, 406-546-8748. Check out oneownercarguy.com. Probably about 60 pictures on there. And make sure to subscribe, like, and comment here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. oneownercarguy.com.